Hi, so today we're going to go through constructing a VLE in Excel. It's just going to be a nice, simple way of constructing a VLE. Uh, so if you're in a rush or if you just want something nice and simple, it will be a great tutorial for you. So first of all, hopefully you've got your equilibrium data and you've got your column specs. So that's going to be your top fraction, your bottom fraction, your feed point at Q and your reflux ratio. So I'm going to be taking a Q line equal to one. So that's just going to be mean that my feed is a saturated liquid feed. So that's just going to construct there and we can move straight onto the toll. So the toll aligned top coordinate is always going to be x, d, x, d. And the bottom coordinate is going to be equal to zero for the x. And for the y, it's going to be equal to x, d divided by r plus one. So that's a reflux ratio plus one. All sorted. You can see that this auto filled in. This is just the formula for linear interpolation between the two y values. So we're going to make it intercept at the Q line point, which is going to be 0.3, and we're going to see a value just above 1.5 for that. Okay, moving on to the ball. We've got XW, XW as the bottom feed coordinate, and then likewise, we're just going to make this link up to the top. So just filling in the same coordinates for that, it's just going to make the two lines intercept. So that's all finished there. All we need to do is just add this onto the graph here so we've got equilibrium we've got the x data series and the y data series yeah this scatter plot is just going to be able to populate now um, we've got q point we've got x down the left and y down the right uh, we've got tall so for the toll, I'm just going to put in the first two coordinates. Uh, there's no point in doing in the third, just look a little bit messier. And we've got the ball, which is just going to go from 0 0.1, 1 0.1, and match up the toll at the intersection point. And there you have it. So you've just got your liquid more fraction across the bottom, your vapor up the y-axis, and then if I zoom in a little bit, if you do need to create plates from a cave teal, all you can do is just go up to this insert and just go to shapes function. And you just need to go across horizontally until you reach this equilibrium line. And then carry on and go down vertically until you reach the tall line. And you're just going to keep doing this method all the way down, bouncing off the plates, making sure you stay nice and vertical and horizontal until you get all the way down to the bottom. So if I just skip down to this tab here, I've got a finished the cave teal. And if you just count these plates down, then you'll know how many plates you need for your separations. It's one, two, three, four, five. Horizontals are plates, uh, verticals don't count. And as soon as a vertical reaches this x equals y line, then you know when to stop. So I've stopped here because we reached this x, x equals y. So I just need five plates for my separation here under those parameters. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, thank you all very much for listening. Bye.